Whether you're a budding dentist or just curious about teeth, this video will help you understand more about the anatomy of the tooth. There are several different layers that make up a human tooth. The visible part of the tooth is the crown. This is the top part of the tooth. The shape of the crown gives a clue to the tooth's function. There are four types of teeth in the human mouth. Every tooth has a specific job. The front teeth are incisors. They are sharp, chisel-shaped front teeth used for cutting food. Canines are teeth with points for tearing food. Premolars have two pointed cusps on their biting surface. They help with crushing and tearing food. Lastly, the molars are in the back of the mouth and are used for grinding. They have several cusps on their broad biting surface. The outermost layer of a tooth crown is enamel. This is the hardest, most mineralized tissue in the body. Yet it can be damaged by decay if teeth are not cared for properly. Enamel is almost transparent. Underneath the enamel is a layer of dentine, which forms the bulk of the tooth. It is less mineralized than enamel, and its color determines your tooth shade. There are millions of tiny tubes that lead directly from the outer edge of the dentine to the core of the tooth, the dental pulp. Pulp contains soft tissue found in the center of all teeth, where the nerves and blood vessels are. The gum line is where the tooth and gums meet. What you don't see in the mouth is two-thirds of the tooth, the root. Premolars and molars have more than one root stabilizing them, as there is greater force applied when grinding food. The root is the part of the tooth that sits in a cone of bone covered by gums. Bone supports the tooth, and a thin ligament, the periodontal ligament, suspends the tooth in the bony cone so the tooth can move when chewing or crushing food. This is a very sophisticated suspension system that allows individual teeth to adjust to our chewing force for different types of food. The gum line is particularly important as a protective junction at the neck of the tooth where bacteria builds up on teeth. Without proper brushing and flossing, plaque and tartar can build up at the gum line, leading to gum inflammation and gum disease. When gums first become inflamed, the condition is called gingivitis. And if the inflammation continues to include the bone, the condition is called periodontitis. The supporting bone can slowly be destroyed and result in loose teeth. Injuries and blows to teeth can also loosen teeth. But if there is no inflammation, they can heal very well without permanent damage. Now, hopefully you're a tooth expert. But remember that healthy teeth need healthy gums and supporting structures to make sure they function well.